This video is on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This guide will instruct you on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The following procedure may sound familiar to most, but will add new ideas on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is intended for audiences who have never made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or those who are looking for new ideas. There are many different types of peanut butters and jellies and loaves of bread, but I will not be covering those in this instruction. By the end of this, you'll be able to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. General warning, please use only a butter knife or a spread knife. No need to pull out your biggest or sharpest knife. Be advised that this, that this instruction is to call to use a peanut butter knife or a spread knife. Please use these tools for spreading and cutting the sandwich only. All you need is a loaf of bread, a jar of jelly, a jar of peanut butter, a cutting board, and a butter knife. So here's the loaf of bread, here's the peanut butter, jelly, cutting board, and here's the knife. Again, this is not a sharp knife, this is just a buttering knife. Okay, so step one is to gather the tools and supplies listed above. Step two is place the cutting board on the countertop, as we have already. Step three is remove two slices of bread. Step four is open the jar of jelly and the jar of peanut butter. Step five is grab the knife and remove about four to six ounces of jelly from the jelly jar of jelly. Jelly jar, jar of jelly. Now you will notice that I'm not necessarily measuring out four to six ounces. I'm just covering enough to cover the area. Next is the peanut butter, and you can do either the peanut butter or the jelly first. It doesn't matter. You just spread the peanut butter on the other slice of bread. Again, I'm not measuring out exactly how much you need. All I'm doing is just covering enough that's needed to cover the slice of bread. All right. Now step seven is combine both slices of bread together so that the jelly and the peanut butter are sandwiched together, meaning that the middle of the two slices of bread. So just like that. Now cut the sandwich in half. Now you can either cut it this way or you can cut it this way. How I like to cut it for my daughter is this way and this way so that it makes four little squares. Now, like I said, there's many ways to cut this, but really it's whatever, however you choose. And then step nine is to eat and enjoy. Thank you, Daddy. And it's that easy.